right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Door. So, we are continuing on where we left off yesterday. Uh, it's not that often that you get two right next to each other, you know? It's supposed to be card review, let's play, card review, let's play, fake card Friday, which of course you only get on fake card Friday, and then, you know, the two live streams during the weekend. I guess you get league right next to each other. But you go to space never right next to each other. So you just got an episode of you get like see the that's right, you're getting one today. And of course that means that we are keeping our entire week schedule. So of course car review, tag force five, car review, tag force five, fake car Friday, legacy of both, legacy of the ghost, and then bring some repeat. So uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying this temporary change. I know it was a little sudden uh, that you know we were having fun with life play, but I like that I just do not want to touch your deal uh, when it comes to him right now. Maybe like I said, maybe when the league on Nathan, of course, with no league, with league being put on hold for a little while, we try to catch up with everything. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys something on the weekend. Okay? We used to before I took my couple month break. There was nothing on the weekends. It was just you know I took the weekends off. And it's still sort of like that, like I said, it just doesn't take much time and effort or editing to do this. I literally sit here, talk and duel for, you know, maybe like 10, 15 minutes and then just render, upload it, you know? So it doesn't take much time and effort to do this, so at least you guys are getting contact from me for a weekend while we do this temporary change. Anyway, we are continuing on, so I believe this is the duel where I duel against a guy who also has a Zodiac. So if he freaking sacks the shit out of me, like if he just stalls the hat of me and blocks me and runs triple sand game, see a lot of get sent, but he's a Zodiac and threaten me. But uh, yeah, so uh, Battle City begins, so I guess this is officially where Season 2 starts. So, uh, Yuki was disturbed that there was now an unknown foe attempting to take it from the puzzle. He felt unprepared, yet not, he didn't. I, I'm so used to saying did not, but didn't know. Enough about the puzzles to understand what dangers he now would have to face. Hey, how's it going, Yugi? Not so great. I need your help, and so does the spirit of the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about the past. They were reminding the spirit how little he knows about it. But hanging out with you might help him figure things out. How? How is Taya gonna help him figure out about his past? This is making sense to me, whatever. You know, sure, but how exactly I'm going to do that? Seriously, you know? <laughs> well, I, I heard that uh, back in the past, the pharaoh really liked looking at titties, so if, if you show him the titty, your, uh, show us your titties, then maybe it would mind him. It's, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. All right. <laughs> All right. You always have great advice. Just talk to him. All right, so it's the, when the pharaoh and Taya have that date, you know, and so it's like, I don't have time for girls and pussies and titties. It's all about Yu-Gi-Oh! Doing dual monsters and trading card games. Yeah. <laughs> the spirit and Taya spent the date there. We went to Domino Museum, which had just opened their edition exhibit. They saw an ancient stone carved that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to yu gi while the sorcerer looked just like Taya. As they stood in awe of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My sir, I've been expecting you. Huh? Huh? Who are you? I mean, he's... I don't remember her name. Shizu? I think it's Shizu. Of the Egyptian Historical Society. I have uncovered many mysteries about you and my ancient carvings using uh, the magic of my millennium necklace. Another millennium vinyl. Like your millennium puzzle, isn't it quite a Forts me certain power. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past to a time when evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed a magic powerful enough to stop this evil threat. Her voice is very difficult for me to do. Like, holy crap. <laughs> the pharaoh who saved the world was me. And now, the time has come for me to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind from, from what? And how do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My millennium necklace shows me visions of the future. Oh, so she just said, visions all over. My friend, the events of the past will occur once again. History does repeat itself. It really does if you don't do a drastic change. And the same great evil will return to fitness. How will I recognize this evil? I know that humanity has faded and that you seek many answers. I also know a dual monster tournament is beginning. If you. Oh my god, her voice. If you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament that Is Ishizu was referring to was set up by the Battle City Tournament, and Jelly and Yuki both received an invitation to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a locator card. 
The tournament attracted a group of duelists known as the Rare Hunters. These evil duelists were thieves intent on stealing the most rare duel monsters. Boy, boy, if you don't step away from my fucking <laughs> YCS prize card in the mirror, boy, I don't even care if you got a repent. It's still worth money, my boy. <laughs> Joey lost his red eye. Black Guardian to a rare hunter in the secret, hoping to win, win back his card. Julie challenged him to a rematch. You got my red eye. You, oh my god, these voices. You got my red eye, and now I want it back, so it's time to do <laughs> I, I can't do the Brooklyn accents. Oh my god, that was, that was terrible. <laughs> I have no desire to join you. I've already re relieved you of your rare red eyes. My hunt for your neck is over. Well, it's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win back my red eyes. <laughs> Joey, what's going on? Yuki Moto, he has the eye of my next desires. This guy knows. <laughs> this guy owes me a ring, so I can win back my red eyes. I told. I already told you that you have nothing that of any reason. But perhaps your friend would be interested in being the next victim. You would be my pleasure to hunt the Doors Kingdom champion and snare his domination. So I challenge you, challenge Yuki Moto to a duel. Fine, Red Hunter, accept your challenge. So we would win back your card, Joey. If you win this duel, I hand over my dark magician. But if you lose, you must return to the spread eyes by dragon. Alright, so as I think this is the Exodia guy, but he stacks the crap on me with Exodia and he's real soft. He already lost the freaking Destiny board and uh Tech Force 5, so I am not looking forward to losing again by some sacky shit. Right, get that sacky stuff out of here, alright, boy? Get that sacky hat out of here. Go ahead and uh up this hand of straight Arby. Like, hello, what is this hand? Wow, I wish I got an option. Oh my god, yep, here we go. Uh huh. Good stuff, good stuff. This charity is still a really great card. You know? uh, and of course, uh, in my opinion, I think Pot of Green is a stronger uh, draw card. You know, overall. Um, this charity, draw three, this card two, which plays one card, so you know, three feels like that. Still great. No, nonetheless, still seven in the deck. Pot of Green is just a straight up possible. I want to make it Kevin G put up that video on the best card, draw cards, and you play great charity on Pot of Green. Like, no, no, you know? I get a straight up plus one off of Pot of Green. You know? And of course, I reprint probably the Divers, and I don't mind taking my hands on that. Oh, yeah, well, it's fucking up. If you have something to play about, you shit. You know why? Oh, um, broken ass grand time kill because, uh, uh, I got the tone. Oh, is this the guy who has. Is this the guy who has, uh. Uh. Slifer? Is it? Is this where really, I get Slifer from? I'm from Randy Clark, and he's probably gonna take down the other one, so. If I can even see remotely if I can. As, uh. Things are yeah, close to it. I'm Diwali. Definitely gonna be grabbing that piece of Exodia. Or that piece of Exodia. Or that piece of Exodia, right? Oh no. Alright, got a piece of Exodia, of course. Uh, definitely Exodia. So at least I know he doesn't have Exodia. He just got the other piece of Exodia. Wow, boy, oh, is my like, neutral ass with him? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I need to switch to the back first so I can make a sandwich. Hey. Um, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and activate Tunsu. Of course, I'm just going to put him to the back connector next to the draw phase. So good. So good. And, see, even now, like, if this card was legal and still had three, I can definitely see some people still playing it. Because taking away your draw is just evil. It really is. Like, some, sometimes you rely on seeing the next card. Like, the fact that I can just be like, nope. Like, not bad. Now I know you're not drawing into anything. Yeah. Does that mean that you have anything? Oh, you correct us, never mind. Oh, oh, click the wrong thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, wow. Graceful charity that multiples of this shit? Like, at, at the most, that card should be at one. Like, come on. Come on. Not even goat for that shit, boy. Uh, what is Graceful charity? No, oh, okay, so you just draw the card. So I guess I'll have to put it back. To make sure, hopefully, I get a rim, you know, I get a piece of the gold. Okay, right he sucks the crap out of me. He is kidding me, but he is kidding me. Yeah. And I'm not getting any monsters to actually do enough damage. I'm like, sitting here poking this man with a fucking crazy man. What the fuck is this shit? Alright. Let's go ahead and come up with the card to come after 
reset or press it down or reset it. It must be normal summon. Okay. Better than nothing. At least I know you're not drawing me. See, I can just take more damage in. Like, come on, where are my monsters? I'm gonna poke this enemy with a fucking three with my boy. I, I'm really gonna beat the shit out of you, see though. Especially dueling against one of my friends in an adult form. I beat the shit out of my sinister serpent. <laughs> I mean, it's really the same card. Tack line. It's just like tack, 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 tack. Yeah, there we go. Some, wow, my, some of Skull is just showing up this weekend. This is, this is the summon this thing. Please don't let me get the summon. I already got, like I said, I already got sacked once in another game. I only got sacked in this game. And I think in the duel, where I was supposed to be the ability, it's kind of hard to pick these. Get the card back and the ability. I'm gonna stream against the rounds. Wow, there's another graceful chair. And then you piss a piece of Ignodia? Alright, 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 CP, alright, alright. All right. What the fuck are you doing? Like, how come you, you literally got three, three graceful cherries in this duel? That's not busted at all, my boy. That's not busted at all. Wow, fuck it. And here's my shit. I know I said Pot of Greed is the stronger draw card, but Graceful is still fucking busted, dude. Like, Grateful can never come back. And you're grateful that three holes. Shit, my boy. Holy shit. Well, time for him to get that last piece of Iglodia, right? Boy, if he fucking do all these mistakes with Iglodia or that reckless and then just walk into that piece of Iglodia. Wait, he just pitched one. Unless he... Wait, does he have multiple pieces of multiple different things? We got the left leg, and this is also the left leg, or? I think, I think, I think in the he had multiple pieces. I'm so used to Exodia each piece being, yeah, both weak, the left leg, and then also another left leg. I'm so used to Exodia being each piece limited to one. I completely forgot, you know? I'll rip on that. But, uh, you could, you can't sell or do anything, so I guess. Exodia is not. I mean, Tobin Scott Tiger, Exodia is a cat, to be bad. So, the dude is really easy. The fact that you had multiple pieces of Exodia, multiple grace for Terry, multiple pieces of Exodia, multiple pieces of Exodia, like, you just lost that dude. Maybe he just drew into the same piece over and over again. He must have had like three legs or something like that. He kept on pitching the left leg. You know? Fucking Exodia's left nipple, so let's get that out of here. Yeah, you, you won! I'm taking Joey's red eyes and your are okay. I, I lost. I failed. Forgive me, Master. I try my best. No, please don't be angry. Ah! <laughs> you, that wacko lost his mind. Remember me, <laughs> remember me, Farrell? Actually, perhaps you don't. You are trapped in the puzzle when I adore Will you. Oh, oh, this is a different era again. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter, though he was the weakest duelist in my crew. My other minions will prove much more formidable. You, what is this freak? <laughs> What's with this freak show? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Kind of put Merrick behind him like that so you can tell her it's uh, Merrick. Right. Pharaoh, I waited for you, <laughs> for you for years. Finally, after all this time, I will destroy you. I would not allow my other rare hunter to fail like this way. <laughs> ah, what was Merrick's voice? Kind of like nasally. I have little time for this kind of foolishness, so I take it over his body and trap his mind in the shower. I am in control. How do you control them? Each of the Millennium Islands contains its own unique powers. So I control his mind is a simple attack to my Millennium Rod. I gave him. I gave him my Millennium Rod, and, and now he he's just all over me. <laughs> all right, I'll stop. <laughs> anyway, to introduce myself, remember my name, Merrick. Merrick, what is it you want from me, Merrick? I want the long sleeve, and I'll take it using the strength of the Egyptian God cards. Egyptian what? Millennia ago, a trio of powerful behemoths rampaged through ancient Egypt. These Egyptian God monsters spread destruction throughout the world until the Pharaoh sent them away for eternity. But when, Pe <laughs> but when Pegasus created dual monsters, he registered these mighty beasts as cards. With these Egyptian gods, I can destroy you and claim the power I desire. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> you must understand, I want more than the power of the puzzle. I want the Pharaoh's power. 
the boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself with it. No one will stand in my way. I use the almighty magic I gained to conquer and lead the world. I will be unstoppable. The end is near, Pharaoh. It will. It's my world now. I am getting so tired of reading. Like, I, I'm so glad that we're just almost done with this. <laughs> Not yet, Pharaoh. I'm getting to understand why Ish, Ishizu, I keep on forgetting how to say her name, asked me to participate in, in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil powers you seek, and I will. Pharaoh, your days are numbered. Enjoy the game while you still can, because it's your reign is coming to an end. <laughs> Man, that was weird. I knew this guy was a bit creepy, but who knew he was just a front for another creep. Hit take her rentals. You hold on to it. It, it, it isn't mine to take, pal. You want a fair square. Besides, the Rangers collect tons of red cards. The decks are all souped up, so I know you're, they're going to be tough to beat, even for you. You always had my back the time I heard you for a time. But so I want you to keep my rent. I know it's going to come in handy for you sometime. Does it? I don't remember, but all I know is it can easily be a dead girl. Like, I, I, I'm good. I have Summon Skull. Summon Skull is my fucking signature control answer. Who the fuck is Dr. Vision? Man? Summon Skull has been putting in work this weekend. Like, let's help. <laughs> Besides, this means that a part of me will be a part of your death. It's kind of cool knowing that I'm helping you save the world. Don't get me wrong. I'm still in the contest because I still have the rare card requirement card. Right, this wasn't my only record, my dad. You gave me another record way back when I was first started playing Dome Monsters, remember? The time was right. Okay. Yep, it bailed me out of gems and dual skin. Yeah, it did, you fucking sacky ass. And I know it's gonna save my butt in Battle City. But you know, when you think about it, both of our hearts are in our attacks. We're a team. Together, we won't let any doors beat us. <laughs> Gag me, dude. It's fucking, fucking, ugh, disgusting, yo. Get out of here in a second. <laughs> Yeah, gushy shit. <laughs> well, what well, this met creep and his red hunter dragoon squad so hard they won't even know what hit. They'll be sorry that they ever decided to mess with us. Eventually, I'll take good care of your ass, dude. I'm about to fucking rip that shit up, <laughs> boy. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> You're a true friend, Joey. And together we can take on any evil that comes our way. Oh my god, this gushy shit. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. All right, skip it. Yep. Yep, we're done here. All right, people. So. Uh, we are done with Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist for this weekend, so I said this temporary change is, uh, like I said, give it a minimum a month. Like, even if I don't feel like doing any more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play for a little while, uh, I mean, live streams for a while, we're holding up. Uh, as soon as the league comes out, uh, I come back, this is gonna go back on hold until either something changes just, uh, despite that, or uh, we put Tag Force 5 on hold and turn this. But I mean, we have still plenty of different UPL Let's Play games to play. I just thought this was easy one to come back to. And um, I'm glad that uh, Steam was able to save my memory because of course, you know, I didn't take the game over. I just had to reinstall Steam and reinstall the game on my new computer, so that's great. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this how you give us playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. And of course, you know, so much Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, which is fine, which is fine. So that means that there's four Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays and three card discussions uh, during the week, which is fine. It's fine, you know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and support. And I will see you guys not only more Yu Gi Oh! Let's playing for Attack Force 5 on Tuesday and Thursday, but returning for more Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist uh, next weekend. Alright, people, thanks for watching.